Well, this video comprises of three different sections. In the first section, we learn to create estimate for concrete volumes using Revit. In the second portion, we learn to create the bar bending schedule. And lastly, we learned how we can place views in our sheets. In the last video, we have created different types of footings, aside reinforcement, and mark their annotations. If you haven't watched my previous video, I suggest you to watch it first. You can find the link in the description and at the top right corner. Now let's start our today's video. To prepare the quantity takeoff, navigate to the view tab and from the schedule drop down, choose schedule and quantities. From this window, select foundation and press OK. Then a new window open. From here, choose required parameters that you want to be in your schedule. And then from the sorting and grouping, check this grand total option. And from the formatting, align your rows and columns. To view the total quantity of the volume, go to the formatting tab and then from the volume, choose calculate totals option. Now you see the total volume. Now we adjust our uh, footing based on their number. Select sorting and grouping from the properties panel and choose mark. Now to get the total of each individual footings, F1, F2 and F3, select sorting and grouping, check this. Moreover, to calculate the quantity of cement, sand and coarse aggregate, we have to use this formula. To add more fields, we use properties panel, insert for cement ratio. As this field is not available, so we have to create this. Add parameters like cement ratio. Similarly, we repeat the same step for uh, sand and coarse aggregate. Now we use calculated parameters to calculate the total ratio of mixed design. To calculate cement bags, we use this formula cement ratio, we have to multiply it with 1.54 factor to convert it from the wet to the dry volume. For sand quantity, we have to repeat the same formula, but this time we don't need to divide it with uh, 1.22. Now uh, we repeat the same procedure for um, aggregates. Now we type the value of our mixed design. One, two, four. It automatically calculates our value of human sand and coarse aggregates. To display the total number of bags of cement, sand quantity in cubic feet and aggregate in cubic feet, go to the formatting and select the last three options and check calculate totals and press OK. Similarly, for, for the footing tool, we uh, select our mixed design.
from this method, you can calculate the quantity of cement, sand, and coarse aggregate based on their mixed designs. We can do some adjustments, like we can change the fonts. Furthermore, to calculate the quantity of rebar in the footing, use schedule and quantities from the view tab and then select structural rebar option. Now select the parameters. Use this arrow to move uh, your parameter from the left to the right table. We need to add the formula for the calculation of the weight of the rebar. This formula is derived from here, mass equal to density into volume. As the density of our steel bar is 490 pound per cubic feet. Now from the formatting tab and field format, we change its uh, unit from pound to gauge. Now the weight of the bar is uh, calculated. Now we do some adjustments to make it better. Now let's create bar bending schedule for our footing. To add the bar bending schedule, first we need to add bending detail in our table. I use the properties panel to add more field. I need bending detail. I press OK. Now it added. In Revit 2024, the schedule is automatically generated. We just need to drag the schedule in our sheet. So first I uh, create a sheet from the properties panel, select my template and then press OK. Now I drag this schedule into my sheet. Here Revit automatically generated this schedule for us. To create sheets, navigate to the view tab and select sheets from the toolbar. From this dialog box, select your required template and press OK. Now a sheet is created. Before placing our plants in section in our sheet, I add some detailing works. For complete video, you can check the link at the top right corner. Now I do some annotation works in my section plan. From the arrow data, I choose multiple rebar option and then simply click in my rebar to place the tag. For vertical bars, I use command TG and then select, simply select my bars. To add the leader line, like my family, and then add the leader lens. We can change its type from here. We can change its uh, display option. Similarly, the floor plans, we add some detailing. We have to select the bars 
and from this presentation drop down select the third option and just select none option and choose the part that you want to appear in your floor plan repeat the same steps for the distribution bars select the third option and select none and choose this bar to show to add tags to the main and distribution bar use tz command and then simply click on our bars to change its type use a properties panel and add a leader line repeat the same steps for the distribution bars To show bends at the end of these bars, instead of these straight lines, use a bending detail option. For this purpose, select the bar and choose bending detail from the toolbar. Then simply drag in our footing. Repeat the same steps for the other bar. Select the bar and place inside our footing. In change our display option, to shaded view and there are two bars shown so to hide the blue bar select the bar and choose toggle visibility option select the bar right click and from the toggle visibility we are hide this blue bar now adjust our tags Now our flow plans and sections are ready to place in our views. Navigate to our sheet and then from the project browser, drag our floor plan detail to our sheet and similarly our section. Similarly, we can add 3D views by dragging in our sheet. That's all for today's session. In the next video, we learn to create beam, assign reinforcement, and mark its annotations. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to Civil Builders. See you in the next video.